In activity one, air temperature, students learn to take outdoor weather measurements. Students are first introduced to the Celsius and Fahrenheit scales. Then they learn to use a thermometer to measure and record outdoor air temperature. Finally, students begin a class weather data chart. You will need the following materials from the kit. Activity sheet one, envelopes, thermometers, and weather data chart. You will also need to provide pencils and chart paper. To prepare for session one, make four copies of activity sheet one for each student. Make sure to select a location outdoors that is shaded and sheltered from rain throughout the school day. To begin session one, ask students, what is weather? Students may refer to temperature, sunshine, forms of precipitation, and amount and type of clouds. Explain to the class that weather is the condition of the lowest level of the atmosphere at a certain time and place. Then define atmosphere as the blanket of air that surrounds the earth. Next, ask students, what is temperature? The students may already understand that weather has to do with how hot or cold something is. Inform them that temperature is a measure of the amount of energy in a substance. Then ask, when you're sick, how do you know what your temperature is? Most students will mention a thermometer. Ask students, what is a thermometer? Guide students to understand that a thermometer is an instrument used to measure temperature and give them the opportunity to share their experiences with thermometers. Next, divide the students into teams of two. Distribute a thermometer to each team and let them study the thermometer carefully. Advise students to be careful with the thermometer so they do not bend or break. Then ask students, how is this thermometer similar to or different from other thermometers you've seen? The students may notice the two sets of marks and numbers. Point out that the thermometers they are holding are dual-scale thermometers, and that a dual-scale thermometer has two temperature scales marked on it. Next, explain that degrees Celsius and degrees Fahrenheit are two types of scales used for measuring temperature. Write the symbols degrees Celsius and degrees Fahrenheit, and explain that these symbols represent degrees Celsius and degrees Fahrenheit, respectively, and that the small circle symbol means degrees. Inform students that whenever they record a temperature, they must indicate which scale they have used, Celsius or Fahrenheit. Then, instruct students to choose a temperature in degrees Fahrenheit and to find the equivalent temperature in degrees Celsius. Ask students, can anyone tell me what the freezing point of water is in degrees Fahrenheit and in degrees Celsius? It helps students understand that the freezing point of water is 32 degrees Fahrenheit or 0 degrees Celsius. Make sure they can identify the freezing point of water on the thermometer. Then ask students, can anyone tell me what the boiling point of water is in degrees Fahrenheit and in degrees Celsius? A student should identify the boiling point of water is 212 degrees Fahrenheit or 100 degrees Celsius. Explain to the class that the boiling point of water is not found on these thermometers because the thermometers could not read temperatures that high. Next, ask students, how do you use the thermometer to determine the temperature? Give the students time to see that they should rotate the thermometer until they can see the red line in the center tube. Point out to the top of the red line shows the temperature. Students can read the temperature by finding the number on one of the scales that corresponds to or matches the top of the red line. Ask volunteers to determine the temperature in degrees Celsius and degrees Fahrenheit of the air in the classroom and to report it to the class. Next, distribute to each student a copy of Activity Sheet 1 in an envelope. The students will be using the envelopes as science journals for this module. Have each student write his or her name on the sheet and place the sheet in the envelope. Have the students write their names and the name of the module on the envelopes. Have the teams gather their envelopes, thermometers, and pencils. Take them outdoors to the predetermined place and have them write the date in the first column of the first row on the activity sheet. Finally, ask them to measure the air temperature and record it in the third and fourth columns. Make sure the students are standing in the shade when they take their thermometer readings. To conclude session one, have the students place their activity sheets in their science journal envelopes. Collect the envelopes and store them in an accessible place. Return the thermometers to the kit. To prepare for session two, hang the weather data chart on the wall at the student's eye level. To begin session two, Return the journal envelopes to the students. Distribute a thermometer to each team of two. 
I have the teams gather their envelopes, thermometers, and pencils, lead them outside to the same place as before, and have them measure and record the afternoon temperature. Then return to the classroom. Point out the weather data chart that you have hung on the wall. Ask students, what was the temperature outside this morning and afternoon in degrees Celsius? If answers vary, find the most common temperature reading. Record the temperatures in degrees Celsius on the chart. For the next few weeks, continue to have students measure the temperature each morning and afternoon at the same location you chose and record it on their activity sheets and on the classroom chart. To conclude session two, return the thermometers to the kit. Leave the weather data chart up for the remainder of the module. For science background, reinforcement activities, curriculum connections, and information about the Delta Science Reader, please consult your DSM teacher's guide.